Okay, I've done a little more refinement, and this is the 60 minus 2 or 58 tooth uh, reluctor wheel signal that we're getting from the Arduino, and it's running at uh, 227 hertz. On the channel 2 line here, I have zero uh, coming in right now for my two pulse signal. Here's my two pulse signal generator. There's the Arduino. I'm using just a simple 2.2 uh, kilo ohm resistor in there, and apparently there's some internal resistors in the Arduino itself that are assisting. I was using a hundred ohm, and it was getting very hot, but this one doesn't get hot. And I'll show you what it does when I turn on the two pulse. Signal, and you can see my 60 minus 2 uh, signal has increased. This pulse is right at 27 hertz, and this signal up here goes from 227 hertz to about uh, 714 hertz consistently, which would uh, correspond to about uh, 700 uh, RPM and this is actually putting out about 810 RPM if you do the math so it's pretty close. The, as Damien said when he sent me this uh, it needs some tweaking on the uh, uh, conversion but that's okay it's, it's really close and it's very consistent now. I can turn it off and it'll slow right down. You see, it does exactly what it's supposed to do and if you want to see the numbers here I'll turn those on and here it is by the numbers you'll see the frequency is at 227 Hertz pretty consistently and when I turn it on it comes up to about 714 now, change channels on this This is what it's doing on the, the two pulse generated frequency is uh, about 27 hertz. You notice my voltage basically is right at 5 volts. Thank you again, Damien. I've simplified it a little further. I've gone ahead and just put my resistor in between the um, power and the signal line here right next to the sensor so that I've got my breadboard right out, out of the loop now and I'm also uh, using a 12 volt um, power supply rather than a um, the 9 volt battery and this just uh, made me uh, certain that I could run the uh, Arduino off of the 12 volts coming off of uh, the signal uh, I'm sorry, the original sensor uh, power. And I will try to set that up now. All right, I've got everything set up now. Here's my pulse generator right here. And that leads over to the Arduino, which is sitting right there. And that all leads into the DME in the back. And what I'm going to do Let's go turn the vehicle on and let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit so that you'll be able to see line one when I turn the key on will be the um, Arduino putting out the uh, 60 minus 2 pulse signal at 227 Hertz and then when I come back I will turn the two pulse signal generator on and we'll take it up to about 800 RPM and I'll be able to see if the tack comes on. Alright, right now you can hear the fuel injectors coming on and that's giving me my uh, 
it's just uh, the engine is uh, engine is idling at uh, 227 hertz, and now I'm going to turn my pulse generator on. And you can hear the you can hear the uh, injectors kicking in, so it tells me that the signal is getting loose in the injectors. So now I'm going to go look at the tachometer on the dash. And I am getting a signal of about 800 RPM. Take the camera in there. See the pulse generator spinning away. See my dash is on. And the signal just above maybe six or 700. About what you would expect. Everything else seems to be coming on just fine. Once again, thank you, Damian McGuire. I appreciate all your help so far. This is James from North Mississippi. Now, an interesting happens when I turn this entire uh, system off. So I'll turn my pulse generator off. And it slows down like it should. Why that's happening, I don't know. But I can make it stop. I'm doing this. I think there's a glitch in the Arduino programming. And there we go. If you just stop it at the wrong time, it does that. Now, I'm going to go turn the key off. And you'll notice that the injectors quit firing. <coughs> Excuse me, but my Arduino is still giving me my pulse signal. And I don't know if you can hear, but there's a pump going on in the background, um, and it will go for an indeterminate amount of time. I'm just going to sit here and let it run and see. Last time I did this, I actually had to unplug the Arduino, and the whole thing stopped. So I'm not sure why that's that's occurring. I may be in some kind of loop here.